U.S. House voted for an aid package for Ukraine. Good news, Ukrainians! This is what we're gonna talk about today. Hello there, I'm Elina. Welcome to my channel Enough of Propaganda. Let's make the truth available for everyone. Making emergency supplemental appropriations to respond to the situation in Ukraine and for related expenses for the fiscal year ending September 30th, 2024 and for other purposes. I want you to see what is happening in here. People were waving Ukrainian flags and chanting Ukraine, Ukraine several times. And that little weasel Michael Johnson, who was holding hostages Ukraine, Russian soldiers on the front, American people, and people from any other countries who dependent on Russia lose this war. He was delaying as much as he could this vote. Now he's complaining, oh, don't wave flags in the, in the session. On the floor. The, the chair has said it, it the speakers are... On this vote, the A's are 311 and the nays are 112. The bill is passed. Oh, one voting present. I missed it, but thank you. Okay. The House will be in order. The House will be in order. President of Ukraine Zelensky already thanks Americans for their support and help. Представників Сполучених Штатів, дякую кожному і кожній, хто підтримав наш пакет. Це рішення для захисту життя. Дякую особисто спікеру Майку Джонсону, усім американським серцям, які так само, як і ми в Україні, відчувають, що російське зло точно не повинно вигравати. This is what he has to say, and he hopes that Senate and uh, President Biden will quickly pass this, this bill and Ukraine will get help. It's desperately needed. The aid packages for Israel, as you can see, and for Taiwan, they were also uh, passed. They have been passed. And this is what I believe Florida politician has to say. Madam Chair, when I rise in support of H.R. 8035, the Ukraine Security Supplemental Appropriations Act, as well as the other two national security supplemental bills and the fourth bill that is full of strong conservative policy priorities. As we stand here today, a strategic military troika of evil sits over the horizon, marching towards the destruction of the values that we and our democratic allies hold so dear. We can either turn our heads away and hope to appease this great evil, or we can stand with our allies and confront this nefarious scourge. History has taught us that appeasement does not work. And it was attempted not that long ago through the failed Obama-Clinton reset with the communist KGB thug Putin. That administration believed that Putin, Putin could be uh, satiated with Georgia and Crimea. They were wrong. And today, Putin's appetite has only grown. Now he wants all of Ukraine. Tomorrow, Moldova, the Baltics, Poland. Madam Chair, history repeats itself. I'm reminded, reminded that in 1947, Congress provided military and economic support for Greece and Turkey keeping them out of the hands of the Soviet Union. And today, this Congress has the chance to do the same by supporting these bills that confront the Troika and fully fund our security commitments to support Israel, Taiwan, and Ukraine, which are confronting existential challenges to their very existence. The only way to stand up to Putin 
and others like him, in the words of Ronald Reagan, is peace through strength. For the most part, I agree with this man, except he's only blaming certain administration, Obama and so on. And conveniently forget that the war was going on for 10 years and in 2018, for example, when the first official military conflict happened between Ukrainian army and Russian army, when Russia attacked Ukrainian army, Ukrainian uh, border guards. And it was Kerch Strait incident. You can Google it. And I'll make probably another video about that. At the time, Mr. Trump was a president and he did nothing. Exactly as at least Obama put sanctions and so on. And, but at the time, there wasn't official Putin was hiding that it's, oh, it's not our troops, it's a little green man and this and that. Nevertheless, neither one administration include Trump, who is, cl is claiming now that he can stop the war in one day. He can't. Why didn't he in 2018, if it would be so easy? What, he was enjoying Ukrainians getting killed? Nevertheless, he did nothing. So, it's not only one administration who is guilty of appeasing Putin. And yet, there are traitors to the United States, like this woman from Indiana, Spars, which is, as far as I know, originally Ukrainian, uh, repeating in the official United States uh, House of Representatives Russian propaganda about blank checks to Ukraine, which never existed. Majority of the money United States spending on Ukraine stays in the United States. Period. And the fact that the United States allow these people not only to be either stupid or corrupt or blinded by propaganda or whatever, be elected, but voicing Putin's opinion, voicing Putin's propaganda, in the official buildings of the places where they actually decisions are for the country made, this is outright disgusting. So sorry to spoil your fun, but people who voted for her, people who voted for Mar Marjorie Traitor Green, which really called Moscow March for a reason, actually 71 of the people in uh, during voting voted for the amendment proposed by Marjorie Traitor Green. These are the people who betraying the interests of the United States and doing bidding of the foreign government, Putin. And I hope that American people will realize who they voted for. This vote about Ukraine is number one thing which you can actually see who is who. Who is actually thinking about the interests of the state, of the United States as a people, of the country, and Republicans and Democrats alike who voted yes for support Ukraine. These are the people who put in the interest of American people in the first place. The people who did not. They either corrupt or stupid or useful idiots, but nevertheless many of them who voted against Republican Party for example, more than half voted against the help to Ukraine. These are the tribalists who they put in the interest of their tribe and exactly Trump, who is basically betrayed the United States, organized the coup in your country and wanted to undermine democracy in a state dictatorship like Putin. These are the people who betrayed your country. So please remember that when next time you're going to vote. The gentlewoman, gentlewoman is recognized for five minutes. This war is an existential conflict for Ukraine. As important, it is a test for the United States and the United States leadership. One of the best tools we have to get the Ukrainians what they need is presidential drawdown authority. This allows the United States to send equipment from our stocks to the front line in a matter of days. There isn't time to delay. This amendment would cut that authority from $7.8 billion to $100 million. It ties our hands and, yes, it hamstrings the Ukrainian military to do the job that they need to do to defeat Putin. 
We all lose if Ukraine succumbs to Putin's ambitions, and it will not stop there. Putin, in 2016, asserted that Russia's borders do not end, and this is a quote, do not end anywhere. Russian officials just this spring have threatened Finland, Romania, Armenia, Estonia, Lithuania, and Moldova, removing the best tool that the United States has to exercise in terms of a moral clarity and responsibility, that we, that we can have move quickly to arm our al allies would be a grave mistake. Please vote no on this amendment, and I yield back the balance of my time. The and here's a Moscow march repeating everything what Putin says, word for word, lying bluntly to American people. And the vote proved her wrong. She said 70% of American people doesn't support Ukraine. <laughs> and now over 70% voted that they do. And th that's what Congress doing exactly. Supporting Ukraine, supporting American people by stopping the Russian dictator. By providing money to American uh, industry, military industry, to build up with new weapons instead of and giving the old weapons when they have to pay to be destroyed to Ukraine to be able to defend themselves so they did not die in the attacks like just happened in Chernihiv, like just is happening in Kharkiv where my friends are living. And this woman who claimed to be a mother and a Christian supporting Putin, supporting murder people in Ukraine so they couldn't defend themselves. If she wants peace, she should go and stop Putin. That's the only way to have peace. If she's that stupid or ignorant, it's her problem, but it's not. She knows what she's talking about. This is my opinion. And she knows what she's doing. Exactly. She is supporting Trump, who is supporting Putin. This is what she's doing. Versus the interests against the interests of American people. And if anybody has to be ashamed of herself, that should be her. And the United States are supporting Ukraine. They know what they're doing. This is so far what they're giving, uh, $75 billion total, 46.3 military aid. And this is the new package, total 60, over $60 billion, which is about third going to weapons purchases and military training for Ukraine. So this wouldn't happen. The bombing of Ukrainian cities wouldn't happen. So this wouldn't happen. This is FAB bombs, Russia. Erasing Chasif Yar city, exactly like they did in Avdivka and Bakhmut, by FAB bombs. So this wouldn't happen. This is why United States is giving aid to Ukraine. To protect Ukrainian people, their rights to live and their rights to be free. These are the children Marjorie Trader Green so, so worried about. At least 545 children have been killed and at least 1,298 have been injured since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion. Ukraine's Prosecutor General Office said on April 20th. This is the article itself. I hope that the Senate will pass this bill quickly, and it should be, according to the uh, representatives of the Senate, which uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced that Senate would begin procedural votes on the package on Tuesday. And so is Republican Leader McConnell. They also prepared to to vote for it. And as far as I know, uh, President Biden is intent to sign it as soon as it's done. This represents very well what Putin does. He is dragging the world backwards to the Stone Age. And he must be stopped. Ukraine can stop them. Just help Ukraine and give them anything Ukraine needs. And good day for Ukraine. They will get help. I told you so. I'm just so sad that it didn't happen sooner. I hoped it will happen sooner. I didn't know that it could be delayed by a few people who was put in the key positions and they are working for a foreign government for Putin. Like Michael Johnson and like Marjorie Trader Green. This is what I couldn't comprehend that it can be delayed for that long. And I'm deeply sorry about that. That is why in my what I'm doing what is in my power to educate people and to influence my Canadian politicians and that's why Canada is helping Ukraine. Because we are Canadians and we demand that help.
Well, thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you later.